day one of the rest of your life. This is Tracy from Master 414 Ministries, and I am having just a blast at the laundromat. <laughs> it's been too much fun. Have you ever had the opportunity to maybe get away for like spring break or something? And then you are there for a few days, and what happens? Well, if you don't bring enough clothes, you run out of clothes, they get dirty, or whatever, but you gotta get something clean, or you're just gonna keep on wearing dirty clothes. I mean, you could keep on wearing dirty clothes, but it gets kind of nasty, and sometimes they're really dirty. I mean, they don't just smell, they've got stuff all over them, and you wanna get them clean. So, well, that's kind of what happened to us, so we're just kinda like, well, maybe we just need to wash some clothes. You know? <laughs> And how am I going to tie this into you for the first day of the rest of your life? Well, listen to this verse. It's 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, and it says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And the cleansing kind of reminds me of the washing machine, you know? Um, now, my clothes, okay, let's jump back to the clothes here, okay? My clothes are not going to get clean if I don't put them in the washing machine, are they? They're just going to continue to be dirty and to be filthy. Well, see, that's kind of like with us. We have to first, we have to ask for forgiveness if we confess our sins. See, and the first thing to be able to do to confess our sins, we have to have asked Jesus into our hearts to start with. You know, you have to say, Lord, please come into my heart. Would you forgive me of all of my sins? That's the first place you got to start. Now, say you've already done that, and you've already asked Jesus into your heart. Well, just like my clothes, I, if I wear them again, they're going to get dirty again, okay? And that's the same way with after we've gotten saved. We are going to, we're going to mess up, we're going to, we're going to, sin against the Lord in some way or another, whether it's something we've thought or we've said or we've done, whatever way, we are always, I mean, we're not perfect. People are not perfect. The only person that was perfect that lived on earth was Jesus Christ himself, and he's the one who can take all of that dirtiness, all of our sins, and he can cleanse us of all of that. It's like going into a washing machine and getting all clean, and you feel so wonderful afterwards. And I, I, I honestly, I have to say, you know, the, the enemy, he wants to come along and just bog you down with all of that stuff that maybe you've already asked for forgiveness of. And he's like, well, you did this. He said, well, and how do we respond? We can say this. Yes, you're right. I did do that. But Jesus forgave me of all that. He cleansed me of all of that unrighteousness. He forgave me. And now I am a new creature in Christ. And after you get out of this washing machine, what do we do with the clothes? We throw them into the dryer, you tumble them around, and when they can't come out, they smell so good, so brand new. And that's like us. Once we are cleansed with Jesus, we're like brand new people. We are a new creation, a new creature in Christ. Don't let the enemy get you all dirty trying to remember all your past. Jesus has forgiven you of that. And when you mess up, you go right back to the Lord. You, you keep a short list with the Lord. You make sure that you don't have a whole bunch of sins that you haven't for, for confessed. As soon as the Holy Spirit convicts you of that, because He will. If you're a Christian, He'll convict you of something that you have done wrong. And then you say, oh, Lord, I am so sorry. And I mean, there has to be that conviction in the heart where you know you've you're not just feeling guilty. You know you've done wrong and you don't want to do it anymore. You say, Lord, please help me. Please forgive me. Help me to make it about face away from all that so I can walk hand in hand with you. So I can continue to feel cleansed and I can feel one with you. And you know what? It says he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins if you ask. You have to confess and you are that new creature in Christ. Remember. He's willing to forgive you if you will ask, and you can have a wonderful relationship with Him. You can hear Him, so that way you don't have any inter, you know, interference there with the sin. You can hear Him, you can see where He's leading you, and you can lead an extremely blessed life. This has been Tracy from Master 414 Ministries with Day One of the Rest of Your Life.